Right. All right. Well, like I said, it took us less than 10 minutes to actually swap these wheels out. But here they are. I'm fancy rock chair. Just stick the jack right in the center there. Jack it up. Pop them both off at the same time. Pop both of them on. Uh, they're rated for a max pressure of 50 PSI. And they had 52 in each tire. So we dropped each one down to 46, which is right about where I like to run them. We have two brand new ones over there. Fancy new running shoes. Fancy new running shoes right there. Two new ones over there. Nice and purdy. So these are the four that came off it. This one still ain't too bad. That'd be a nice spare. That one's seen better days wearing on the one side. That's the one that was real bad. And then that one down there is all right. But either way, four spares. So we're going to ditch this Ferris off here today. And we're going to take the X-52. Hopefully the dealer calls. Hopefully today's the day I get my 72 back. But we're going to take the walker with the 48 deck. That's what we took last Tuesday. Worked out pretty darn good. This thing started running pretty damn rough yesterday. We are at 809.5 hours. 809. That ain't shit on a commercial mower. But this thing started running a little rough yesterday. We checked it out and everything else. It was fine. But toward the end of the day, I don't know. She, I scared some old lady at the apartments with gunshots. Oh, yeah. It backfired like you wouldn't believe. She jumped a quarter mile. But anyway, we're going to ditch this off. We're going to take the X-52. And we're going to take the I'll walk her over here with the 48 inch collection deck on it. Because we got a few properties actually on Tuesdays that we've been bagging leaves at already. So, yeah, we're going to take this old girl right here. 623 on the right. The 52 is up to 600 hours? Dude, we've had the, we've had the windstorm for what, three years now? How many hours are on this old girl? She's all computerized, so. 128.3. Can y'all see that? 128.3. And we've used the crap out of this thing. It's like the hour gauge don't work or something. I don't know. All right, but anyway, we got to go get some stuff done today, so. All right, Billy, pull that there Ferris off chair. Oh, this filter is, is euchred on here. It's packed. I've tried cleaning it, but I have a whole box of new ones over there, so I'm going to change that out real quick. So, old Billy over here. It is Wednesday morning. Old Billy over here is wrapping up this one. We got the 32 today because we have two properties we got to cut that require that. I'll get to that in a second. And we got the walker. But I swapped the decks on it. So I got rid of the collection deck and put the 56 side discharge deck on it. Still don't have my mower back yet. I called the dealer yesterday and they said that they don't think the new exhaust even came in yet. So he said he'll give me an update as soon as he has one. So I don't know when I'll get that back, but I didn't feel like, uh, I didn't feel like bagging lawns all day today when I don't need to. And anything we do need to bag, we can just throw the accelerator on that X-52. So, so we got this and that's what I'm running today. Anyway, about the 32. So, we used to have 21 or 22 lawns that required a small mower like that. And we just don't have those lawns anymore. We've gradually gotten rid of them. Come on, you guys up here. I'll just set you there. So, we've gradually gotten rid of them. Now we're down to like, um, we got one on Monday morning. We have one on Tuesday that technically we can fit a 48 inch mower in. And then we have two of them left on Wednesdays. And that's it. So pretty much what we're doing is wrapping up this year. And then I'm uh, telling those customers that they either need to put in a larger gate or we're not servicing them next year because I don't want to be hauling this mower around anymore. I need trailer space and I can fit three standers on here if I don't have that 32. I can fit like 
three full size standers on here, which is what I want to be able to do. Oh, I can fit two standers and the windstorm. And it's coming down to more and more every day we need the windstorm. Even throughout the season this year, the regular season. So that's the plan.
Put some clothes on. Ain't that kind of show. You're gonna fall off the truck. Think you're a fireman? You do like to play with your hose. Mm -hmm. Well, that concludes today's broadcast. Almost. So, I don't know, man. I am really, 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 really. Taxi, taxi. I don't pick up half naked boys. Taxi, taxi. Got my shirt. Um, what was I saying? Here, this half naked boy also has three balls. Yeah, I believe it. You are a little abnormal. Um, where are my sunnies? That's what they call me in Australia. I know they do. What's his name? Um, Martin Safiti. Yeah, I love that so, guy. My own bro. Um, but anyway, so I'm loving being on that freaking walker. And I miss it, man. I've been telling so you since last nice. year when we went to GIE. Dad, we need two walker H's. You said, no, we don't. No, and I still believe we don't. I think I we'd think be we just don't. fine with two B's with 56 side discharge decks on them. We don't do B's. Why? We don't like bees. Bees are nasty. Mean. Yeah, except for your <laughs> mower that you had, wise ass. So, um, what are you looking at? Don't look at me. Don't wave that. <laughs> Screw that. I gave him a big Ran an illegal cheese. business for I don't know how many years. Stole the name off another company that was already licensed illegal. That was Damn. unnecessary. And then they finally made him change his name so he added one word on the end of it. Now he's legal. Thinks he runs some big business because he sells mulch now. He ain't big nothing. But anyway, um, so this is, I want to change where I'm going with my business for next year. This is what I want to do. We got a lot of commercial right now and a lot of bigger commercial, not a lot of bigger commercial, but we have a lot of commercial. The majority of it is bigger commercial. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to focus on, and I've been thinking about this for the last couple months, I want to focus on residential, which is mainly what we've always done, uh, and we've done very, very well with it. Um, I love it because everybody says, you can't make no money with residential mowing, especially the guys around here say it. I've made a killing. I've made over a million dollars easily. You pull up easily. to one street and hit seven houses. Yeah, I know. Don't even move the truck. They just, they're just not doing it right, and they're afraid to charge. So, But anyway... Um, so I want to focus mostly on residential and small commercial. That's what I want to do. And what that does is it also allows me to go back to walkers, which is ideally what I want to do. I love my standards, but I'm running standards because of the bigger commercial properties because they're faster and you get more done quicker than you will with a walker. That's why I run standards. But if I'm not doing all those big commercial properties, then I don't need to do that. And I can go back to running walkers, which is what I've always loved to do. So anyway, I've been thinking about that the last couple months, trying to figure out how I'm going to do that going into next year. Shouldn't be a problem at all because my phone blows up. I mean, I got calls two weeks ago for 18 new lawns. They were from a guy that he passed away. His company obviously shut down. Um, so my phone literally blows up all the time. So I have no problem picking up lawns. However, I did get a message today. I heard last year from a company, one of the largest companies in our area, that they've been wanting to go to strictly commercial, I believe is the deal, is what they're trying to do. And they were thinking about doing that, I think, for this year. And I think they pretty much did for the most part. But anyway, so I got a message from their foreman today. And he said, hey, the boss man wants to talk to you about his, the residentials. And I'm like, okay. So he had mentioned something to me about that, over the foreman did, over the winter. And he said, there's a good chance we're not going to be doing residential anymore. They have quite a few. I don't know that they have as many as we do. I don't think they do, but they do have quite a few residential. So if I'm work, if I'm going to, I'm going to meet up with him and sit down and talk with him. If he's giving up all these residential properties and I take them on, if they're properties I even want, and I take them on, because they go out a lot further than we do. Um, but they also do all the same areas we do as well. So... That could be ideal. That could be ideal to dump my bigger commercial stuff or maybe even just trade him up. I'll give you my bigger commercial stuff and give me your residentials. Um, I have a strict policy about not paying for accounts. I don't do that. I'll pass up on them first, especially if I know someone's just giving them up. 
then I'll just go bid their properties and I'm not going to pay somebody for accounts. I'm just not going to do it. I've been burned on it twice in the past before. There's no guarantees and I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. So if you're not going to do them anymore, you have no right to sell those as far as I'm concerned. And those customers are free game. So, But I'm glad that they thought of me and they want to offer them to me. So anyway, so that, that'll work out if I do decide to go back to Walker Mowers. Strictly Walkers, which is what I want to do. And not bagging. I want to go to side discharge mowers. I'll still always keep them for bagging when I need to. But um, you can also hang accelerators off of side discharge walker decks. So, um, but anyway, that's where I think I'm going to be going going into next year. But there's a lot over the next couple months that will determine that. And we'll see. So, for all of you that keep asking, what am I doing with walkers and things like that? Now you know. See ya. I just want to grab that chest here. Yank that shit. Watch you scream like a little girl. <laughs> really? Really, Billy? Yeah. You can sway it. I'll wait till you fall asleep because you sleep like this. Like you're I'll catching the flies. Shove it up there, your butt. I'm Wolverine. I'll uh, super glue your ass together while you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got me some. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. They look like little pubes. All right, we, we're done. We're out. <laughs>